On April 26, the Centers for Disease Control released its latest findings on autism in America. That update says the number of children diagnosed on the autism spectrum has increased by 15 percent since 2016, which means one in every 59 children is now classified as autistic. Beyond these statistics, though, the WHS Crusade for Children is committed to helping those children. Amelia was diagnosed at about three and a half, but she really started showing signs of autism about two. Amelia displayed the classic symptoms of being on the autism spectrum. She didn't make eye contact, didn't speak regularly, and was prone to acting out when presented with new social situations. And at that point, we um, did a parent evaluation, and then we were referred to a specialist who did autism testing on Amelia. Which one do you want to do? Do read stories. Reading stories. Amelia has been in Cloverport since preschool, so she's been here since 2012. I've been working from kindergarten through present, so I've been with her every year since kindergarten, since she started. At Cloverport Elementary, Amelia works with instructional assistant Crystal Sebastian on everything from reading and comprehension to social interaction. We're engaging with peers. We are taking field trips with our class, being able to stay on task longer periods of times now in between breaks. Amelia even has a job. Do you have any errands? Do I have some errands for you? I think I have some notes that you could take around. Amelia's continuing progress is thanks in part to Crusade funding. We are able to provide a better spread that students get one-on-one -on -one program assistance uh, are more severe students and Cloverport attracts uh, because it is a smaller district and it's pretty typical of smaller districts that they attract uh, students with more severe disabilities and that have higher level of needs. She's much more social. We're able to actually take her out into the community to restaurants. We weren't able to do that even as much as a year and a half ago. Rachel Platt, WHAS 11 News. Alicia says that Amelia's job of running errands has really made a big difference in Amelia's willingness to interact with others. Since 1981, Cloverport Schools has received almost a million dollars in crusade funding to help children like Amelia.